All right, let's talk about building a winning crypto portfolio here in 2023. And I, I don't mean just a winning portfolio for this year. I mean, let's set the stage for a winning portfolio for the next three to five years. I think this is going to be the most critical window for cryptocurrency. These next three to five years, I think a lot of millionaires will be inked and a lot of money will be made because we are still at the infancy stages of crypto adoption. Right around 5% of people are interacting with crypto globally right now. Roughly around 20% America, uh, of Americans are in cryptocurrency or invested in crypto in some aspect, which is great. But that number still, in my opinion, is going to rise. And I think this next bull cycle, if played out correctly by investors, this could set yourself up. And I'm trying to get financial freedom. We all are. And cryptocurrency is one of the top tools to do so, in my personal opinion. It's changed my life completely since 2020, since really getting invested in 2020, taking some profits, but also taking some beatings along the way. I've learned a lot in the last two and a half, almost three years now. And I wanted to share with you some tips that I think setting yourself up for a winning formula right now in 2023 is something that you can achieve by utilizing some of these tips and strategies. Number one, diversify your portfolio. There are so many interesting sectors in the cryptocurrency market, whether it's DeFi, layer ones, layer twos, gaming, AI, enterprise, you need a piece of everything in my opinion. This is why it's so important to do your own research. You know, we always say that in, 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 in as uh, people on YouTube and influencers or whatever you wanna call us, educators. Do your own research. It's very, very important because you might find something that piques your interest that I don't particularly find that amusing. And that's okay, right? But there are tons of great assets out there. Make sure you have a piece of a lot of different pies when we look at all the crypto sectors. Now, here's something else we got to account for. We got to account for the Bitcoin halving, which is scheduled sometime in 2024. Many people are gearing up for that to be kind of the start of the next bull run. So what does that mean? We've got to accumulate our top cryptos now, right? And hopefully you've already been doing this in 2022. If not, that's okay. You still have time. But as the most significant crypto, Bitcoin has been seen pushing other coins to start bull rallies. That is what we found out to be true in previous cycles. Now, when that happens, it's called altcoin season. As such, investors should not ignore the Bitcoin halving process going forward as the year before the halving process is seen to have a notable price rally. So does that mean later this year in 2023, sometime this year? If history repeats itself, we could start to see some of that altcoin rally. In fact, we've already seen a little bit of that happen and a little bit of that play out in the first two months, but it's a long year. There can be a lot of ebbs and flows in this market. Now, I want to give you this too. Watch critical levels. Follow the support lines and resistance lines when it comes to technical analysis. This is not that difficult to do. There's some great tools out there. TradingView will help you do that. Follow your support and resistance line. Know where you want to acquire more of a cryptocurrency, right? When it dips down to that support line, if you're bullish on that crypto long term, that's a good spot to add to your bag. If you're trading crypto and it gets up to that resistance line, let some of it go, take some profits. It's never 100% guaranteed to maintain the momentum from support and resistance lines, but they are certainly tools that help us. Also, from a technical perspective, rely on RSI, Relative Strength Index, and Momentum. It says that outperforming assets will continue to outperform and downperforming assets will continue to perform down. So learn the RSI, learn Momentum, and utilize those tools to buy in at the right times. Also, search for outliers, right? So right now, about 60% of altcoins are trading above their 200-day moving averages. That means only 40% are still in a bear cycle. Maybe those are cryptos that you'll want to look at a little bit closer. So looking at that 200-day moving average uh, is a very, very key contributor to help you kind of make uh, make you... Uh, select cryptos wisely, right? Because if something's trending above that 200-day moving average, you may have already missed that big move up. But again, 40% of cryptos out there right now in the market are trading below that line. So keep an eye on that as well. Also, just stay educated. Educate yourself daily, every single day. Be learning about crypto. Be learning about blockchain. Be learning about a different project or or, or something that a particular altcoin is doing or partnering with. And of course, 
I can help you do that. Um, but I'm just one voice. Listen to a lot of different voices, but I try to do that as well, bring you up to speed on all the latest news and information in the cryptocurrency market. So if you want more of that, subscribe down below. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video. And I really sincerely hope these tips help because I want everyone to win. I want to see all of us achieve financial freedom for our families, for our friends, for ourselves, because we deserve it. We're putting the work in now. We're early to a budding industry. Let's do this. Let's win. Let's go make some money. We'll see you.